I've got these two little molds here. They've got a little bit of sides here, but you notice that there's the middle spot. So what these are basically is kind of like pencil holders. So I thought I would try the alcohol technique with drips, but also a little bit of a twist on it. So let's get set up. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. Okay, we're gonna play with alcohol ink and resin today. And I've got some clear left over. We are going to add some clear into here as far as the resin. And I'm working with um, Art Coat from Stone Coat Resin. Sto I'm sorry, Stone Coat Countertops. I'm paying attention to my pour here. So I'm just applying some, let me see how much I actually got in here. I got a, I'm like really close with the camera. All right, so I've got it filled up maybe about a third of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in layers. So a little bit different than I normally do. All right. And I've got colors picked out that are warm colors for one of them and cool colors for the other one. So let's do the warm colors for this guy. No rhyme or reason. I'm just going to start doing some drips. And usually with alcohol ink, I might throw in a little violet in here just to give it a little bit of depth occasionally. Ink. Okay. But usually with alcohol ink, what you do is you drip down some colors and then you follow it through with some of the pinata white and that helps push the alcohol inks into the resin. All right, I'm gonna move some of the pink around. There we go, okay. So I've got my alcohol, uh, my Bianca, Blanco Blanco, sorry, uh, white. And I've got a little pipette because I go through the little bottles so often. I just went ahead and got a big one. And I'm just gonna get some in the pipette and try and do kind of a drip for every color. So I'm gonna do multiple drips going around. They're probably not going to be completely accurate. I'm not worried about it. And I'm also going around on the side here. I think that might not be a bad idea. And it'll glide down too. All right. I mean, a nice gross sound. Now what I'm going to do is add a little bit more resin. Now this resin's been sitting for a little bit. So hopefully a lot of the bubbles have come to the surface and that might help with my mold being so thick or tall, I should say. All right, now let's do a little bit more. And we're gonna build up on some more of the oranges and yellows in this zone. A little bit more there. More of the pinks over here. A couple drops of purple. Just because you guys know I like purple. Can't help myself. I'm going to do one pink over there. Alright, I'm going to get some more white. We're going to repeat. I'm just gonna kind of go down the sides this time. Okay. A little bit more resin. 
Now this is either gonna work really well or it's gonna be a flop. So we'll have to see what happens. Now this time, since this is going to be probably the last one, I will put white in the middle also. So I'm going to do color all over. All right. And the colors are naturally coming in, which is rather interesting. I'm just kind of repeating my patterns. You know, a lot of pink over here, uh, a little bit of purple. A little bit more of the pink. And then get some white. This time I'm gonna do some white over the middle as well. Oops, I'm kind of doing a little bit more than drips there. Ah! Okay. What is that thick part? Don't want that. Let's see if I can do a little bit right there. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm bringing in for close up. All right, I'm gonna zoom in. So you can see where it's thinking about going down. I'm not entirely sure if it will. I don't know. Top side's always fun to watch because there's like always a reaction that's going on for a while. You see that moving around? It's like it's alive. And it'll do that for a while. All right, let me get started on the next one. Okay, here we go. almost hard to tell the first time you pour it in there how high it goes. The reason why I want to give it some chance is it allows more ink to go in as well and it allows some of the bubbles to come to the surface too. Right, I'm going to put my warm colors to the side and in with the cool ones. I should probably pull in this lighter green. So I'll put a picture at the end of this video so that you see what colors I use. Some people try to duplicate it. Some people are like, oh, I love that one particular color. And I'm usually one of those kind of people who are like, I like that one particular color. All right, so I'm gonna do a couple and try and see if I can do a little bit more of a, maybe an ombre kind of thing. I don't know if it'll do an ombre. Who am I kidding? Okay, let's do a darker green. Dink. Oh, I gotta be careful with that. Okay, I'll throw some white. Curious to see if it'll follow down the sides. 
or not. That's my thinking. All right, here we go. Oh, I forgot to add more. Whoops. I want to add more resin. Oops. Okay. I guess this is the last coat. I'll put more in than I thought. Okay. Now we are full. Oops, somehow I didn't get sapphire blue in there. Okay. So this one's gonna be really full. All right, I'm gonna go around the sides here. Get you guys in so that y'all can see the fireworks show that's going on in the middle. I see it's starting to go down a little bit. Sorry, I should have warned you before I zoomed. And I did see the activity on the top. Let's see if I can rest my hand and then keep it steadier. Oh, isn't that fun? Okay, I'm gonna put these guys away, let them set up. Here's the other one while we've been sitting here. It's kind of settled out a little bit. Oh, also, when you do alcohol ink and resin like this, don't torch it. Because you've got a lot of alcohol sitting in those inks. That would be bad juju. All right, so it's been a little bit on this guy and I wanted to try something different. And I've got my little trusty skewer. Actually, I wonder if my other skewer is a little cleaner. Let's, no, oh, wait a minute. Aha, we got one in the back that is not used. Woo! So what we're gonna do here is, see, it's all nice and clean. Well, it's got a little bit of resin on the outside, but that only means that it's still a nice point. All right, I am going to push this down and spin and come up. Push this down. Spin and come up. Just do it occasionally. Let's see what happens. So I'm holding this with my hand and doing this, which is rather interesting. And I'm just gonna go with my skewer into the blue one, even though it's got all those reds on it and such. I'm not that worried about it, because you know me, I like color. All right, and I got a lot of even stuff going on here, so let me break it up a little bit. Do a little bit more there. Come over here, do a little bit more over here. All right, maybe I'll let some of that drip off. And we're waiting, and we're waiting. Okay, twirl that off. All right, I have a silicone mat over here, so I'm just going to twirl most of that off. Okay. 
go back to this. This is a little bit of an experiment here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go up, go down. I'm gonna twirl and go up and go down a lot more often. So let's see what happens. Oop, let me bring the camera up a little bit. See how the resin's gotten a lot thicker? Try to break up the pattern a little bit. All right. A little bit more of a swoosh on that one. So we'll see. Didn't look like it was going down that far as far as the drips wise and I also wanted to see if I can introduce like a little I don't know a little wave or something like that so I'm gonna clean off my skewer these are um little silicone mats here that I've got on my table that are great and I'll just let that cure up and it'll still be usable Let's see what these guys do tomorrow. It's been a couple of days now, and so this is nicely cured. But if you've noticed, there's a little bit of texture on the bottom. What I think I'm gonna do is put a, just a little bit of a clear coat on the top of this, which will actually be the bottom of this. But I think that way it'll, it'll finish off that edge nicely and also give it some extra protection in case alcohol inks is kind of on the surface. So, yeah, this ought to be really interesting. Okay, here we go. Now these are gonna be tricky to get out because it has that inner layer. Now, alcohol inks will have a tendency to stain your silicone mold. So that's quite common. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Let's see, how am I going to do this? I'm going to try and pull this out. Also got this in here too. <laughs> All right. So I'm trying to work it down little bit by little bit. It's got a nice shiny texture on the side so that's good all right we have to just turn this inside out <laughs> how to wrestle with a mold gracefully on camera basically you can't see my tongue sticking out the side of my mouth <laughs> as i'm trying to focus on that okay so turning this inside out works pretty good because that way you can put a little bit of a pressure on the inside portion so that works out pretty good. And now we're just gonna wiggle back and forth. And voila! Okay. So this is what we got so far. Now it doesn't look like this is the first layer that I poured. And then I poured a little bit. I think this is the one where I did three. I don't know. So I definitely did pour part of this, added some ink, and then poured some more resin, added some more resin, to, or more ink to that, and then ended up pushing it down. So let me zoom in, get some details in there. So we got some interesting things happening. Definitely have the traditional look to alcohol ink, but that's kind of fun. There's a little bitty, itty bitty micro bubbles in there which I was kind of expecting because this is not a casting resin, but it did pretty good by pouring in layers and minimize some of the bubbles. I think that, nope, I don't know what that was. So yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. All right, now to wrestle with number two. Here we go. And I'll probably sand the bottom of this 
quickly to get rid of these little thingies. Some of them you can peel them off with your hands. Okay, this one seems a little tougher. <laughs> okay. Part of it. Now be mindful of one thing, resin when it's cured up, if you get a sharp edge, it's gonna be very sharp. So, oh, I'm just trying to get it up over the lip and it fit up right up against it real well. Okay, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Yes, I'm grunting. I'm sitting. Oh, come on. I just wanted to go inside out. Okay. We will win. All right, if you have very weak hands, I don't recommend the mold. Or if you've got some children around, they could probably help you out. Yeah, definitely wait a couple days for it to get nice and... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say really hard there. There's nothing else I can do about it. Right. I'll be right back. <laughs> I ended up putting this up against something so I could really push, pull this. And in the process, I've also loosened up the inside too. So, we're getting there. Come on, come on. You can do it. Yeah. Oh, finally. Ta da. <laughs> nice. Stand up again. All right, let me zoom in. Ooh, that looked really cool. So only thing I think I would have done differently is possibly put a little bit of resin in it first off, do a couple little drips all the way around, add a little bit more, repeat, so maybe do it in four stages, just so I can get down here. But I still kind of like these like really skinny little bits. So I am super happy with this. It was definitely a wrestle <laughs> to get this thing out of here. But the mold came out nice and clean. There's one little bitty bubble on the inside which will leave a sharp edge. So to be honest with you, I'll probably get like maybe a little bit of resin or something like that and just kind of maybe brush it on there. It might add a bump, but at least it won't add a sharp edge. So yeah, and again, put a little bit of resin on there just to help out with that texture. So that's the bottom. And then the inside has the normal alcohol ink look to it with the fun is on the sides. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna have the links down in the description below for these two molds if you're interested in getting them yourself. And I might try and do a couple more and um, see what else I can do with these uh, little tendrils that come down and see if I can play and get them a little lengthier or something like that. I'm not done playing with this guy. So, yeah.
All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. Oh, before I say it later, most of my artwork is available on Etsy, so check out the link in the description for that too. Later, y'all.